Welcome to this video. In this video, we are gonna explain how we could model correct propagation in double cantilever beam using VCCT criterion in Abacus software. In part module, we create a rectangular part in two dimensional space which represents half of the model. We create a rectangle from point 00, 0 to point 9 and 0 0.2 inches. Then in property module, we create a material for the part which is linear elastic. We enter Young modules and Poisson ratio of the part here. And then we create a section and assign the section to the part. In assembly module, we enter the part two times. And then we translate one part to its proper position to make the whole model. Then we go to the step module and create a static general step. The nonlinear geometry is on and we also decrease the initial and maximum size of the increments. We also increase the maximum number of increments. Before requesting history outputs, we should define some surfaces and sets to apply boundary condition and also define interactions and crack. So we hide one of the parts and from tool and surface create a surface for this part of the model. We pick the bottom face of the upper part and also create a set for applying movement and requesting reaction force in this point. Then we show this part and hide another part. In definition of a crack, we need to define which region of the crack is bonded and which region is debonded. So we partition the upper edge of this part to two segments from the center point. Now we create a surface for the upper edge of the lower part, which contains these two segments. Then we create a set which contains bonded region of the crack. Finally, we create a set for the corner of the part to apply displacement to this point. Now we can go to the step module and request reaction forces that apply to one of the points with displacement. This reaction force represents the required force for crack extension in this DCB specimen. At first we should pick one of the sets related to these points and then we can request reaction force at this point. We can also only request reaction force in Y direction. The main part of this simulation is defining crack in interaction module. At first we create a contact between two parts of the model. We start with creating a contact property. We choose VCCT fracture criterion which compares equivalent energy release rate with its critical value. If the value was greater than the critical value, the crack will propagate. Then we choose direction of crack growth to be maximum tangential stress direction and also we use BK model to compute equivalent energy release rate. 
As you can see in the formula of the BK model, this model needs critical energy release rate in mode 1 and 2 and also an exponent. Now we can create contact between two parts using previously defined surfaces. We choose the surface of the upper part as the master surface and then the surface of the lower part as the slave surface. We choose a small sliding and node to surface discretization method. Here we can enter a clearance for unbounded region of the crack which decreases number of severe discontinuity iterations. And finally we should define bounded region of the crack using our previously defined set. Then we pick the contact property and continue. In the last step of creating the crack we use a special crack and create and choose debonding using VCCT criteria. Then we choose the step and also the defined contact and finally we decide to write output for every increment. Now the crack definition is complete. In the load module, at first we fix one end of the beam. For this purpose, at first we pick right end of the beam and then apply pin constraint to these nodes. Please notice that applying pinned or encaster is equal in solid elements. Now we should apply displacement to both parts of the model in a way that crack extension happens in mode 1 loading. So we apply upward displacement to the upper part of the model and also downward displacement to the lower part of the model. In the mesh module, at first we apply quadrilateral and structure elements to both parts of the model. And then we assign element type to these parts. The element is a standard and plane strain and also we use linear reduced elements. Now we apply global mesh size to both the parts and try to create five elements along the thickness and finally we can mesh both the parts then we can go to the job module and create the job and submit the job To analyze the result of this problem, please notice that this problem contains two distinct steps. At the first step, the crack doesn't extend and only the debounded part of the crack is opened. And in the next step, the crack starts to propagate. Exactly at this time, crack starts to propagate. And at the end of the simulation, the crack propagates up to this point. We also could pull out the required force to open this crack. At first, force has almost linear behavior with respect to the time or displacement. And after initiation of crack propagation, the force reduces from its maximum value. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you are interested in various aspects of crack simulation in Abacus software, you can find more videos in this playlist. If this video was helpful, 
please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.